Good day! In this video, we are going to try and solve the numeracy exam done in June 2023. This paper is a unit standard. It is 32406. Use mathematics and statistics to meet the numeracy demand of a range of situations. As it is a unit standard, you either get a chief or not a chief. If you get an achieve, you get 10 credit. If not, then you do not get any credit. To obtain the 10 credit, you need to satisfy that you'll be able to do three outcome, one, two, and three. That's a combination of outcome throughout this paper, and you need to get a certain number of outcome for each of this paper. So without further ado, we'll do question three, three, whole question three, part one, part two, and part three in this video. So we will start with part one. Part one sounds like this. Okay, so we are going to look at question three, part one. Okay, let's read the question together. This is a Manu Tuku Tuku, a traditional Maui kite. So this is the picture of the kite there. The width of the Manu Tuku Tuku is about 3,660 millimeter. So the width is 3,660 millimeter. Estimate the height of the Manu Tuku Tuku. So to get the height, the scale is that here to here is around 500 millimeters. Okay, so they calculated so it's going to be 3660. So to calculate the height, okay, we need to calculate here to here. Okay, so roughly if that is one, two, three, four, so we're going to take four, the scale factor of four, multiply by 500 millimeters. And you put in your calculator, and the answer is going to be about 2,000 millimeters, okay? So, the marking schedule has said that any numbers between 1,007 to 2,100 is acceptable. So, in our case, 2,000 is acceptable, and we get outcome number one. As I said, you need to get the various outcome one, two, and three, and we'll proceed now to part two of the question. Okay, part two looks like that. Okay, so we are going to read, adjust the paper, and we're going to read the question. Okay, great. The body of the Manu Tuku Tuku has knot with six crosses. Okay, one knot is circled in the photo. There's a knot there. Okay, the body of the Manu Tuku Tuku has 27 sticks running horizontally. So they are horizontally, there are 22 across, and seven sticks are running vertically. One, there are seven of them. Show how will you work out the num total number of knots in the body of a Manu Tuku Tuku. So if there are 7 vertical, 22 horizontal, so number of Tuku Tuku, number of knots, okay, in the Tuku Tuku, okay, Tuku Tuku is just going to take 22 horizontally multiplied by 7. And if you put your calculator, and the answer is going to be 154 knots. So that is how you calculate the number of knots in the Manu Tuku Tuku. So if you can get it right, again, this option number 1. Outcome number 1, sorry. Okay, so now for part 3 of the question, I'm going to leave it to Junis, who's going to explain to you how to get the answer for part three of question three. Cheers, everyone. This is question 3C, and I am Junius Mr. Ong San, the more younger and handsome version. All right, so now we're trying to figure out this question. So Manu Tukutuku were often flown above a pa to mark the beginning of a matariki. So here are two views of a Manu Tukutuku flying over a pa. One view is from the south, so south, and one view is from the east. So here we have the view from the south. So we're actually looking at it as though we're on the ground looking this way. So this is the bird's eye view. So south of this hill would be here. We're looking at the hill in that direction. Now one view is looking from the east. So east is here. So east of the island would be here. So this view east is looking at the island as though you were here. Let's draw a little person here, looking at the island that way. Maybe eyes would be a better depiction. All right. So first, so, so the question is actually asking us, which of these letters is the kite? 
So let's just look at this view from the south to begin with. So the view from the south, going back again, we're here, eyeballs, looking at the island from this perspective. All right. So if we draw a midline here, midline of this island here, it is slightly left of the midline. However, it is more central than this peg or this inner gate area. So this is the inner gate area and it is more central and it is close to midline, but to the left of it. All right. So since it's from it's slightly more left of midline, it definitely can't be F and C because if we draw a vertical midline here, F and C would be to the right of it and this is to the left. So therefore it can't be F, can't be C. Also, it can't be B because if it was B, it would pretty much be on the edge of the fence here. So B would be like somewhere, somewhere here on the edge of the inner fence. And it's not, it's more center, slightly closer to midline. So therefore it can't be B as well. So after looking at this view from the south, we know that it could either be D, A or E. Now, if we look at the view from the east, so we are here now looking at the island from this perspective. Now, we're trying to figure out whether it's E, A or D. Again, if we draw a midline here, and the midline would be here on the bird's eye view because we're looking at it from the east, right? We can see that it's left of midline. So if we look at it from this angle, it's left of midline. Therefore, it can't be A or D because that would be to the right of midline. It has to be E. It's left. Just to reiterate one more time, let's say this is left. This is right. This is left. This is right. Just to hammer this in for you. It is left of midline. It is left of midline. Therefore, it can't be A or D. It has to be E. E is the only answer we are left with. So therefore, we are going to tick E. So this is option two.